When I say bananas, you say peppers. And we have some exciting materials to cover today, you guys. I don't know why I'm dressed so fancy. Also, I feel like only a person who hasn't exited their home for a year would call a vintage sweater dress fancy. But here we are. I'm sure you guys can tell by my appearance today. I finally did decide what to do with my hair and I went with the timeless crimp. I really do just wish that my hair sprouted out of my head looking all nice and fried and crispy like this because this is truly my favorite style. And it always makes me feel somehow more dressed up and fancy than I actually am. And I also love the, now this is probably the smell of me literally cooking my own hair hair, but whenever I crimp it, it always makes my hair smell some type of way and it literally just improves my mood somehow. I don't know how to describe it. The scent of my hair being cooked, especially if I could do a combo and also have on fake tanner, I don't know why. It just immediately lifts my spirits. Probably like coming from somewhere like deep within my life because I used to always like go to the tanning salon and crimp my hair. So I just must always like associate it with taking care of myself, looking good, good. Hi. Also just a quick update on yesterday's vlog video. Thank y'all so much to everybody who submitted an email so far to my funny answers. That's what the email I did. I think that that's gonna be a fun and interesting video. So if you guys would just like my take on some generic life advice, if you have some life advice that you would like for me to tackle in a future life advice video, can I say life advice five more times, please? Just feel free to send me an email down here, down below. I think that's gonna be a very interesting episode. All of your information, your private information will of course be kept private, but we will put it before our fellow banana peppers and see if we can get you some answers. You guys, I cannot tell if that's the sound of a plane outside, if it's the sound of somebody just rolling a garbage can along but we have some peculiar sounds coming from right outside that window. Last order of business and then we get started. If you're not already, hit the subscribe button down below. Please subscribe, stay a while, hang out with me and a bunch of other banana peppers. Become a member of the banana peppers squad today. And also when you hit subscribe, don't forget, hit the notification bell or if you are already subscribed, hit the notification bell and select that you would like to receive all notifications from this channel. Thank you so much. All right, I know uh, that I said that I thought my next video was gonna be an unboxing video and yet here we are. Although this is sort of an unboxing of sorts and it's sort of one of those videos that I do on this channel. You guys, I know it seems insane, but I really do have just a bunch of bags that I just, I guess, stop carrying one day and then I just leave all of the contents abandoned inside of them and then I bring them to you guys. Cause y'all really seem to enjoy when I do these videos. I enjoy doing them. Sometimes I find some really cool stuff and also it just helps me to like clean and organize things. <laughs> kind of a funny story behind this one though, you guys, because what this is, is it's two handbags that I literally had no idea what happened to them. I thought that I just lost them somehow along the way. Like I literally thought that these just did not exist somehow anymore in the fabric of sand and time or along my, my own reality. What do they call it when you're in a reality and then you just trickle over into another one? So I no longer thought that these existed on this mortal plane for me, but here we are, I found them. This is kind of one of those things that happens to you when you hide something so well. Like, are you guys kind of crazy like me? Like, well, when I used to go out of town, like sometimes I would just hide something to like protect it, but like you hide something so well, or like, tis the season, like if you ever hide a Christmas present and then you hide it so well that you literally can't find it again. And then like 10 years later, you're like, hey, here's that Christmas present. Hope you still want it. This is kind of a situation like that. We were going out of town and for an extended period of time. And I was like, oh, I have some of these handbags. 
let's hide them in a closet. So I hid these in my parents' closet. I do not even know how many years ago, and I just found them. Cause you guys know I've been doing a lot of cleaning this year. So here we are, we have two handbags in here. One is big, one is small, and one, you guys, I'm so glad I found it because it is very special to me. It is my first ever designer handbag that I ever bought myself when I first started doing YouTube. So this was like such a milestone for me. And it's the first designer bag I'd ever owned in my life. And I bought it from Yves Saint Laurent on clearance. I got such a steal, but I was just so proud of this purse. And I think I even did a what's in my bag video for this, like an ancient amount of time ago, long time ago, like maybe six or seven years ago. Now this one feels kind of empty. So um, thankfully we have another bag in here that I think is gonna be more full. I feel like we can almost look at this Purell keychain here. That's how you can like carbon date my items. What is the make and model of hand sanitizer on it? Do they make that anymore? Because this is Purell, but I swear Purell hand sanitizer bottles, they aren't even in this shape anymore, right? <gasps> oh, there's an expiration date. So this expired November of of 2015. So that tells you how old this is. That's why I always love videos like this because I really do just get to carbon date my own belongings. Oh my god, I can't believe I found this in there. I always tell you guys this little blurb about my life because it was really like such a mystical, magical time. Like those very first years after I graduated high school and like right when I was getting into college, those were some difficult years. So I guess that's why I always talk about this specific life memory. I was in Beauty and the Beast. I was in a musical production of Beauty and the Beast and I was the feather duster and Dogman was the clock. That was just like always such a special time in my mind. Hello, bra strap. Okay, please leave. I'm trying to talk about special times and you're embarrassing me. God, it was like kind of the first period where I really started to feel <laughs> like, do I want to say like good again? I don't know. Like I had a really difficult time like making good friends in college. And I came from a literal fishbowl of a high school where I went to like all 12 or 13 years of school in the same little district. So it's like I came from a really, really tiny town where I went to school for 13 years with the same group of people basically. And you know, everybody just kind of knew each other and you would just kind of like make friends with people because you would see them for, you know, 30 years of your life. But then college was just like much more difficult for me because I feel like I would like connect with people, but then I would only have them like for one semester and I would just like never see those people again. So I don't know. Hi, long story about this tiny plastic feather duster that I just pulled out of my purse. That's why forever and ever I always collect things of this little feather duster, which it's so rare, honestly. I don't know, it just means a lot to me because it just felt like such a magical time in my life. Other than that, it just looks like there is a literal pile of change. And what are these? You guys, I was like, it's a pile of change, but like what kind of change? That changed my mind on this change really quick. That's a lame joke. And I really wish I had never said that out loud. Okay, I think all that's in here is a bundle of strange change. I'm gonna go ahead. There's only like one zipper thing back here. And there is literally just a wad of panty liners. So that's fun. Also, this might be a receipt. So we can see how, oh, there's an SD card. <gasps> I wonder what old videos could be on this. I might try and see if I can find, hi, is this camera focusing you guys? I'm trying to just like save my eyes and only use one ring light and the natural light, but it might make the camera not focus as well, which would be really unfortunate. I might see if I can find some footage worth posting in this video. Give <laughs> my camera like a two second break and then I forgot to press record and I started opening this mail and I wasn't recording. Being a 
is that I can't sleep, I'm gonna go ahead and unbox this last month's glossy box. Opening the box. Oh, hopefully there'll be some tissue paper inside that I can throw around. No one cares. Oh, I found an old camera that I had used when I first started doing YouTube and I thought it would be fun to like show some of that video on YouTube, but it's honestly so grainy. It looks like I filmed it in like 2002 or something. So I thought that that would be a receipt. I usually keep my receipts with the purse. No, this just tells you a little bit about, I guess that's the make and model or something. Hi, focusing, thanks. Okay, now are you gonna focus on my face again? All right, this video is gonna be so long and I'm sorry, I'm sorry in advance. Okay, it's just a bunch of random cards and nothing which has the price on it. I think I got this in 2012, 2012 maybe? Uh, all right, let's look at the strange change because I know you guys are just sitting on the edge of your seat wanting to know um, what kind of change I pulled out of this bag. Can I bring you closer? Does that help? First of all, these have got to be like just awesome coins that you guys sent to me. I'm gonna bet that this came from Swamp Family Mail, honestly, because I remember a lot of you guys used to just send me like different um, coins. So this, these are from Australia. Oh my God, I also see, <gasps> Oh, I wonder if I could like send this in to somebody on Etsy because I have a ring like this that I got forever ago, which is a coin ring. And I know people have been able to do like arcade tokens and stuff before, but I have a ring that I had made out of a quarter and I had it made out of a quarter from 60, maybe 64. I wanted to get the year that the doors became a band and now I have no memory, but I think it was 1964, 65. Anyway, I just found two Chuck E. Cheese tokens. Like original 1991 Chuck E. Cheese tokens. I have several of those. Oh my God, this is from Showbiz Pizza. You guys must have sent this to me at some point because I don't even think we have Showbiz Pizza in Texas. I think that that's a California thing. Is that the focus to continual autofocus? Is that better somehow? Giant bottle of Advil slash it's just a cool sound effect thing now because this expired, ooh! This expired in 2017. All right, up next is this bag, which was such an unusual bag choice for me, I feel like. I love you, but you're strange for me. I feel like I always gravitate towards black and many different shades of black. And most of my handbags that I own are black. But I really wanted a cool bag to go with. Um, I used to dress like this all the time and I honestly do miss dressing like that. I feel like I should just bring it back every great now and again. I went through this whole phase where I just wanted to dress like Hunter S. Thompson every day, you know dress like those you love. And so I had a lot of like tan coats and denim, a lot of that kind of stuff. So I think that I really just wanted a cool bag that I really loved um, that, that would go with stuff like that. And also this looks like a baked potato. It really looks like a baked potato and I'm living for it. I feel like I didn't end up carrying this bag as much as I thought I would because I do not understand. This comes from the brand ba uh, Bally, by the way, but I don't know what's wrong with it. Like I always pretty much without fail carry my bags as like this kind of thing, just cause I love to be hands free because back when I used to go in public, you know, I would like vlog a lot or I'm just always like, I don't know. I'm always like motioning with my hands. I need my hands. So, uh, but this bag, I don't know why, even after like the second or third day I got it, it's like this clip like somehow falls apart. Like I can't tell you guys how many times I would be in the mall and like one side of this strap would just come detached and then the bag would just crash mercilessly to the ground. And it was just a thing that would happen to me at any moment in time. Anyway, let's unzip it and let's find out what's inside. We have a bag. Oh, this must be like the dust bag, which I never put things in. 
because I'm a heathen. We also have a dollar. Let's see what year this dollar came from. Ooh, 2009. There's no way this bag is that old though. We also have, you guys, this is just garbage. No one wants to see this, but let's see the kind of places that I was going and uh, and what I was doing, shall we? We have a, oh, Zoe's Kitchen. I miss going there all the time. This was an order from, ooh, March 24th, 2014. Exciting, what is this? The Chick-fil-A receipt. Is this once again? Oh, it started to fade. We have some more dollars. We have one, two, three dollars, four dollars so far. World Market. Oh my God, I miss going there so much. I feel like this is when we were shopping for furniture for our old house. Oh my God, it is. I found another dollar. Found another dollar. Found another dollar. No, I didn't. No, I'm lying. I didn't find another dollar, but I thought I did. I feel like I drew this and posted this somewhere. Oh, was this an Instagram caption? You guys, I swear, like sometimes I would just be like in a parking lot sipping tea and I would just have like things on my mind that I felt like I needed to just post directly to the internet. So I wrote down, don't ever feel pressured to have everything figured out. Every day is a new opportunity for growth and learning and it's okay to feel lost. Just keep going one day at a time. Societal pressures are overwhelming these days to be perfect, look perfect, but we should not strive for perfection, but acceptance of others and ourselves. Instead of criticizing and tearing one another down, we should stand together and help each other up. I still agree with that. Do you need some cortisone 10? Are you feeling a little itchy? Because clearly I was. I feel like I have such a memory of being at the mall meeting some Swamp Family members. And I think her name was Devlin. I think I stopped and wrote her name in it. And I think that this just came literally off her phone, I wanna say. Yeah, look, this is a phone case. I don't know what make and model, but I just thought that that was like the sweetest thing ever because she literally just took off her phone case. And I was like, wait, no. But I think that she told me that she was just like hoping she would see me in public. And she was just like carrying this around to be able to give it to me. So I just love stuff like this. You know, it just tickles my brain memories. Oh, I bet they don't make this anymore, but this stuff was so good. And I feel like it was like so difficult to find, but it was stride gum. Wow, could I drop it like 50 more times? It was stride gum, sour patch kids. Okay, not like I would be brave enough to chew it, but I was just wondering if there was still a piece in here. Although I will probably just shove this garbage right back in this purse. Cause I, there's such a cool Instagram account that I see all the time. And it's probably cause I follow a lot of those like snack and candy accounts, but I think it's called collecting candy, but it's somebody who just literally collects like old food and candy wrappers and then they scan them in. But it's always like so much fun to see because it's just like, I don't know, weird food I've never seen before or old food that I'll never see again. Here's like a Sephora container. I think for a while they were doing gift cards. Ooh, I was like, is it broken glass? I think for a while they were doing gift cards like this. Oh my God, there's still a gift card in here. I'm gonna check and see, like, do I have a Sephora gift card? I don't know. I have a video that I've been wanting to do forever, which maybe you guys will remember. Like, I think it's been a year ago now since I opened like these old wallets that I had not seen in forever. And it was full of gift cards. I wanted to do, I thought it would be fun to do like a whole video, just like inputting the gift cards and seeing if there's like anything left on them or not. But you guys let me know, is that boring? Ooh, I found $5. When is this from? 2009. Why is all my money from 2009? I found a dollar another doll is it 2009 2006 many older than that how long do they leave money in circulation you guys this is just literally a bunch of receipts which i don't think anybody cares about me just reading off my old chick-fil-a receipts so i'm gonna just dig down here and see if there's anything else cool like what is this <gasps> oh, see, I feel like this was like something else another Swamp Family member gave to me. And oh my God, I think I'm gonna start wearing this because look, it just has somebody's pelvis attached to it. Look at that, Elvis the pelvis right there. That is pretty freaking, yes, I love it. Thank you. Thank you again. Let's just dig through these gum wrappers and oh, we found more super old 
Now this is just liquid now. This is literally, it looks like mouthwash, forbidden mouthwash, pocket back. And I know that they've changed the shape of these like a thousand years ago. This one doesn't have an expiration date, but Rainforest Sugar Cane. You know what? Should I smell it? Is that toxic? Ooh, it smells so good. It takes me right back to March 27th, 2014. That's just the other dates of stuff. It seems like I was carrying this bag in March. This is maybe not as interesting as I thought it would be because all the receipts are faded. Like even if I was gonna do an old receipt haul, which can you imagine? Ooh, this is cute and functional. It's a keychain tape measure. And it actually will measure. Is this in inches? <gasps> oh, it is in inches. That's helpful. A true artifact. Sweet leaf tea lip balm. And I swear there was at one point where Sweet Leaf Tea did actually send me some tea PR and it was magical because not only did they send me tea, but they also sent me just like some stuff that I'd never seen before, which I guess, I don't know, maybe you have to like see them. You know how like brands and stuff, they will, especially like a lot in Austin, I see it, which is where Sweet Leaf Tea came from. You know, like during South by Southwest or other music festivals, like brands will just come out and they'll just be handing out like, like free like swag stuff. Um, Cause they sent like magnets and t-shirts and a bandana, I think, and like lip balm. This is um, dead now, but it's also just so fascinating because it has the old Sweet Leaf Tea Grandma, which I personally think that this logo is way cuter. They like made her like weird looking now. I don't know, it's weird. It's weird to me. I just miss that brand because, well, they still exist, but it's not as good in glass to me or plastic. It tasted way better when you could get it in like the tall boy type cans. So go figure. I also have like quite apparently just a pile of change in here also. Change, I've got change and that's it. So yeah, I don't know if this was interesting at all. Was it interesting at all this change? There's not even like a pocket in here or anything. Just change. I've got change. Anyway, as much as I would just sit here and shake this bag and scream, I've got change all day, you guys would probably like to leave now and get on with the rest of your day, whatever you're doing. And uh, whatever you're doing, I hope you have a good day. Anyway, thank y'all so, so much for hanging out with me today and for watching, for being here, for hanging out. And I will be back again very, very soon, hopefully tomorrow. But until I see you guys again, stay happy, stay healthy, stay sassy, stay banana peppery, and uh, I will be back. Bye.